Hello and welcome to Being Extraordinary. My name is Sarah Kent and I help women to connect to and to create their dreams. Now you might be surprised at how many seemingly successful people are really not happy with their lives. This might even be you. You might have worked hard and achieved all your life only to find yourself feeling restless and unfulfilled. I know for sure this was me a few years ago and in this episode I'll share the two simple questions that enabled me to rethink my life and ultimately create the life that I love now on this off-grid narrowboat. Now these two questions are simple but powerful and they have helped to turn things around for many of the women that I work with too. Now, if you're a woman and you do find this video helpful, you will find a lot of support and resources in my Facebook group, Being Extraordinary, and you'll see the link in the description below this video. I'd love to see you in the group. So first of all, if you find yourself wildly successful yet unhappy with your career or your life, you should know it's probably not your fault. Of course, we're raised in a society which defines success by things and our bank balances, and we can end up pursuing careers which give us all the things that we wanted, all the things that we thought we wanted, only to discover that very few of those things actually light us up from the inside out. Inadvertently, we've been living our lives from the outside in, steered by the myth that when we have a particular thing, we'll be happy. What we need to do is to flip things around and to start living life from the inside out. The simplest way to do this is to ask yourself, what kind of a life is a life which nourishes me. So you may want to grab a notebook actually um, or a piece of paper and write down what comes up for you in response to that question now um, or of course you could do this listen back to the video later. So what kind of a life is a life which nourishes me? Just keep going and when you run out of words to write, ask yourself, and is there anything else? And keep going. Keep writing and keep asking yourself that second question. And is there anything else? Until the flow of words stops. It's even something you can come back to later, reread through what you've written and discovered, and then repeat the process. What kind of a life is a life which nourishes me? And then, and is there anything else? You will have identified the things that you need in your life to really nourish you from the inside out. You may have even remembered dreams that you had when you were young. You may be surprised and even moved by what you've discovered. A nourishing life is one that offers us fulfilment and ultimately sows the seeds of happiness in our lives. All we need to do now, when you've done that exercise, is to start saying yes to the things which nourish and nurture your life whilst letting go of the things that you don't. You now get to consciously choose what you say yes to. These two simple questions sh shed light on what we need to welcome into our lives to feel happier and more fulfilled. Now for many of you, these may simply be micro adjustments but for some, you may discover that a major course correction is needed. And if you need support, you are welcome to contact me through my website and I'll see what I can do to help. 
So I really hope that you found these two questions helpful today. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you're a woman who has a dream and who wants to make a difference in and with her life, and you would like to be in a community of other extraordinary women, I invite you to join my Facebook group, Being Extraordinary. The link's in the description below this video. And if you do join right now, there is a bonus as well. There's a mini audio class that's waiting for you to download as soon as you're in the group. And I'd love to see you there. I'm Sarah Kent and until next time, be extraordinary.